Next up, remembering what happened here at the local bank just a year ago today, November 14, 2018. The bank was pillaged for thousands of dollars by two thieves who still at this time have not been identified. Here's a statement from the bank's president. The bank has managed to recuperate since last year's incident, but we're hoping the police investigation will still help us catch those two thieves. I have heard that there was another incident of a similar nature this morning. I just hope that the people of the city remain vigilant and those thieves are brought to justice. Like you heard from Mr. Rand this morning, another bank was broken into and more money was marked missing. There will be more details to come later on. Stay tuned for that story tonight at 9 p.m. There was another incident of a similar nature this morning. I just hope that the people of the city remain vigilant and those thieves are brought to justice. Like you heard from Mr. Rand this morning, another bank was broken into and more money was marked missing. There will be more details to come later on. Stay tuned for that story tonight at 9 p.m. Oh, crap. That was fast. I'm back. They are 
Sorry I had stuff on the news this morning. So, we better hang low for a little while. Yeah, I guess. There's nothing to eat here. Can, can we just go to like a store? And just get a few bag of chips or something and be right back. You know, it was like close to the store where you texted me, right? I guess, but we should probably make it quick and try to stay away from each other. You know, just in case. Come on, we gotta go to the drugstore. Drugstore to store. Why do I keep you around? wasn't really that much security. So, what did you get? Eh, chips and drinks. Definitely worth the trip. Jackson, we have your new assignment. Please go to take the folder of parking ticket papers and work on filing them. <sighs> Shouldn't be getting these stupid emails about these tiny little petty crimes. I work for an intelligence agency. I bet it was that kid. Did you happen to see a 17-year-old kid who has light brown hair around here? Okay, thank you. Alright, Kyle. Just remember what we talked about. Stay calm and quiet. Act like nothing happened yesterday. Remember? I, I just don't know. I feel like we should wait. We, we don't know if someone's following us, you know? No, I don't have time to just sit here with you. I gotta get somewhere. Now, just stay calm and just go out there. Do you 
you know what you are in trouble for right now? You have some explaining to do, sir. You do have some explaining to do. I think you better come with us. You're coming with us. Come on, buddy, you're come on. Stand up. Don't make this Don't hard. make it difficult. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Idiot. Absolute idiot. Running into the door. Kyle. Such an idiot. I mean, I can't believe this is happening. Still an idiot. Still an idiot. Why do you gotta do this? Why you gotta whatever. I'm so sure. Just walk to the side here. They don't know. So, Kyle, could I ask you a few questions? So, could you tell me where you were at 9.45 a.m. yesterday? Because I saw I saw you at the store with a few bags of chips, and I saw you go out without paying for them. I, I might have just forgotten about... Sorry. So you admit you took the chips. You know there's consequences for that type of behavior. Is there anything else you want to say? No, I... What, what do you mean? We did what we had to do. What do you mean, we? What are you talking about, Kyle? Why did you have to steal those chips? Is there anything else you didn't haven't told me? Um, I think I need to go. Where are you going? Hey! Hey! Craig! <gasps> Something bad happened! Kyle, why are you screaming? There was a cop at school, and he questioned me about the stuff I stole at IGA. Calm down, man. Now just tell me what happened. I got found out. How did that happen? That's, that's not for it. But it kind of is. If we don't know how they know, we can't go anywhere or do anything. We can't trust no one, and someone might be following us. Okay, okay, just, uh, I got pulled out of class randomly, and they started asking questions. I lost my cool and said some things I shouldn't have. Come on, I thought we talked about that. I, I mean, it'll be all right, but we need to figure out something soon. I'm done with this, Craig. What are you talking about? You know this ain't a choice. I don't care, man. I am out. So this is how you're going to honor Dad's memory. You know good and well we can't stop right now. Especially in the condition Mom is in right now. She needs us, man. Kyle, I'm sorry I had to be this way. You're right. I... I just don't know how long we can live like this. We, we don't have to be like her dad. Come on, that's not the point. Mom is sick and oh, we really need a helper. Where's that paper? Hello? 
Jackson Reed is needed at the front desk, please. All right. I'll be there. How could this happen? We had no evidence against us! Well, innocent people don't run, Kyle. both of our fault. We knew he was doing something. We did it for Ma. I will see you on the other side, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I love you, man. I'm sorry. I need you to come with me. Put your hands behind your back. Welcome back to News at Nine. Earlier today, we had the story of the mysterious robberies that occurred last year. We would like to inform you that the two men who have been the cause of these robberies have been caught and are currently in town custody. The store security cameras caught them in the act, and our very own investigator, Detective Ryan Poor, caught these two men. Police would like local bank and store owners to be cautious during and after hours. These robberies have happened right under our noses, and we didn't even know. Stay safe out there.